Yo, this is Jay from Straight Smoke Gaming, and in today's video, I'm bringing you a tier list. This tier list is going to consist of the best ways to do um, the best sell businesses you can do in GTA in 2023. Um, as you can see, the tier list above is how we're going to be ranking them. I can make one for the heist related stuff, um, stuff like that. I do plan on doing that, but we do also have a pretty packed schedule coming up here with our other games. This tier list was made by me and Ovi. We had a lot of fun doing it. Let's get right into it. Starting off with the trash tier, we're going to put vehicle cargo there. The reason we got vehicle cargo there is just because there is a lot of moving parts to this business. You know, obviously, you got to go get them. So when you go get them, you got three different um, tier levels. Obviously, you're going to want to do the high end because that pulls in the most money. And it is a little bit deceiving because as you can see there, I'm pulling in for commission 100000 The thing that is different about that is I had to pay 20000 to mod it. And I also had to pay for any damages I take when I'm delivering it. I also had to pay for the, any damages I take bringing it back. So there is a lot of um, other stuff that pulls money away from you from this business. And on top of that, uh, if you don't do this without a friend in the lobby, as, you go, as you'll see some point in this clip, I do have OV in this lobby with me. But if you do not, there will be CPUs that come in and shoot you and don't do damage to your car. And on top of that, there is a cooldown doing this. So it is just a very hard mission um, or business to make money from. That's how we got it in the trash tier. Next onto the math tier is going to be the hangar. The reason we got the hangar here is similar to the reasons that we have the vehicle cargo where it's at. The main big difference is the um, cooldown is not as long. Cooldowns, I think, is about five minutes. The other cooldown for... The vehicle cargo is about an hour, but it is similar into the aspect of you got to go and get all of your um, crates and you need to total 50 to sell a full hangar. So it is going to be time consuming. The missions are not hard. Um, there are obviously are some harder more than others. I mean, that's how it is with literally anything in the game. But, you know, overall, the missions aren't hard. It is just going to be really hard to build up a stock fast Um in this i mean there are other stuff you could do to make that money back in the same amount of time probably make more money so yeah like i was saying you can only go and get one hanger so this is more of a friend oriented business if you got friends on obviously go ahead and get them in here because you can make some money from the hanger next under the decent tier you got mcs and this is also kind of similar to the hanger as it is more of a friend oriented business as you can see I'm doing this sale solo and I got four bikes. So unless you want to spend most of your time in the sale doing this, like I spent a total of 20 minutes delivering four bikes. So you can do it solo, but I would not recommend it. And honestly, the money that you make, it is better um, in the time that you will make. So you do make a good amount of money from this. If you own all the businesses uh, and you sell them all, you will make 1 million plus, I would say, through one round of selling. It's just a matter of how long will it take and if you have the friends to get on. If you have the friends to get on, by all means do it. They're easy point A to point B sales. You just buy the supplies and they make them. But if you don't and you're a solo player, this is probably not the way you're going to want to do it. Next up for the good tier, you got bunkers. And the reason the bunker is here is because me and Ovi and one of our other friends on Xbox came up with a way to nerf the idea of needing more friends for this business. That video will be tagged down at below. Go ahead and watch that video. But overall, I mean, it's same thing. Point A to point B sale. You go ahead and you buy the supplies or you can source them. But I buy the supplies and I just sell it. The sell missions are not hard. Um, the resupply missions... I don't want to say they're easy, but they're not hard. They're, they're challenging, I'd say. But yeah, overall, easy way to make money. This isn't going to pull in a million dollars right away, but it is a way to slowly build up money. It is an easy way to build up money. Personally, this is one of my favorite businesses in the game. I have made over $50 million, um, from the bunker alone. So yeah, go ahead and do this. If you do not have a bunker, go ahead and buy it. You will thank me later because you do unlock some other upgrades for other weapons in the game. Next up on the God tier or good tier, you're going to have nightclub. And the reason I say God tier is because me and Ovi had a little bit of a disagreement about this, but we have it here in the good tier. We have this uh, here mainly because there's two ways to make money through the popularity. They put money in your safe. 
And honestly, what I do is I do not empty that until it is maxed out because that is a nice chunk of money you could just pull right in. The main money-making attraction to the nightclub is going to be through your warehouse. Your warehouse is located below the nightclub. And as you can see, once I get on the computer here, you will see why um, this is going to be the big thing. So basically, similar to the uh, MCs and all that, just you don't buy um, you don't buy supplies. So as you can see there, I'm on my warehouse management um, I basically just assign which ones I want them to go to. And these all come from just businesses I already own. The bunker, the MCs. I have a $1.8 million sale sitting there right, waiting for me to sell it. If I'm in a populated lobby, which don't I don't recommend doing that. But if you are, there is more money to be made. So yeah, this is literally the definition of passive income. So go ahead and do that. Next up, you got the God tier. And the number one thing for the God tier is probably going to end up being the cargo warehouse. The way, reason we're saying this is because depending on which warehouse you can make, you can pull in a lot of money. Don't get me wrong. This is a little bit more time consuming just because um, if you do have the large warehouses, you're going to pull in more than 100 crates. So it is time consuming. Don't get me wrong. The big thing about this, though, is you can go ahead and get three crates at once. So you could probably honestly depending how much you're grinding, you could pull in probably a medium warehouse, maybe even a large warehouse before you fill up your bunker. And you know, when you're doing that large warehouse sale, you're pulling in a 1 million plus. So there's money to be made. Um, there is a cooldown, but the cooldown is nothing. It's three minutes. If you own two large warehouses, easy way to get around that cooldown is to do one mission to one, um, warehouse do another mission to one the other warehouse and by the time that one's done you can do one for the other one so if you are a grinder this is going to be the king to making money this is going to be the thing that you do the most i know ovi's a big fan of this me not so much next up we have god tier acid business this is more of my type of uh gameplay i like doing this because i don't want to say i'm not a grinder but i just i can't grind as much as ovi this is going to be the same thing as the mc but it is one sale. It is one quick sale. It's one bike. Point A to point B, same thing. You buy supplies. They make product. You do the sale. So it's very easy way to do the sales. Um, sales are not hard. If you want to do the missions, I don't know. I've never did the missions. I've only ever bought supplies, but I would assume they cannot be much harder than the MC resupply missions. And another cool thing about this business is you can do it as an MC or an uh, CEO, as you can see there, I'm a CEO. So there's no like, um, there's no need to be, you need to be an MC, you need to be a CEO. And another cool thing about this is the fact that there is not much of a startup cost. It's pretty much do the missions. You will have to do some stuff like, um, purchase the, or you have to, I don't know, got to buy upgrades. I did not, it's not a requirement, but yeah, we got that in the God tier and you know, that's our list. I mean, it's pretty much opinion based. So I'm sure you guys disagree with some stuff. I'm sure you guys agree with some stuff. Go ahead and comment that down below. We love reading that stuff. Like I was saying, we do have a business um, or we do have a uh, video on how to use the bunker to the best of its avail availability. That'll be down below. Go ahead and check that out. And we also, we do want to do a heist one, heist oriented one of the tier list. So go ahead be paying attention for that and other GTA content. We like putting out content that you guys will enjoy. So yeah, that's about all we got in this video. If you enjoyed, please remember to like and sub for more Madden, GTA, and Red Dead content. We'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.